Yes, he does. See in the ground. See in the ground. Hey. For grace. For favor. This is my sister. Hey, y'all. To read what I have soon. Hey, lovely Sandy. For grace. Favor. Hey. Is that <laughs> John Jacob Jingleheimer Smith? <laughs> that's it. Hey, honey. I know that's right. My name is his name, too. <laughs> Hey y'all! Hey, hey, D Max. God afternoon. Yes, Eastern Standard Time. God afternoon. How are you? Yes, everything. Listen, I've been cleaning up, honey. Her worshiping while I clean up. Listen, it is my season for grace, for favor. Listen, everything is working together for my good. Does somebody believe that with me? Does anybody believe that with me? It is my season. Come on. Yes, everything is working together. Pico, that ain't nobody but the UPS man, but I know you don't know that, so go ahead and get your ball. <laughs> Listen. Hey, Kiki. It's good. I am just listening to some worship music, and I am cleaning up a little bit. And, 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 and setting my atmosphere. God, you are welcome in this place. You are welcome in this place. Honey, he backing up. Come here, come here, come on. Come on, come here, come here. Come here, because this is the only way you're going to be quiet if mama holds him. Come on, you want to get up here? Come on. Come on, let me hold you. Let's go. Come here. Here, boy. Come on, Pico, because, honey, you just, come on, show the people. You don't want to show the people? Here, boy. You so excited you can't sit down. Come here. Come here. They gone. They gone. Jesus. Come on. No? I guess you don't want to then. Listen. Everything is working. Just, just say it. Whatever it is, everything is working together for my good. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? I said they gone, little boy. Come here. Listen, come here, come on, come on, come here, boy, come here, good boy, good boy, good boy, good boy, Jesus Christ, the Lord, the Lord, get off my table, the Lord, hey, your little chest just stomping, little chest just stomping, ooh, honey, just hush your puss, if I put my hands on him, he'll be quiet, all I gotta do is put my hands on him, he'll be quiet. He'll be quiet if I put my hands on him. Honey, somebody say, I got a seed in the ground. Your seed probably was sown years ago. But listen, it's coming. This is the season for grace, for favor. What God has started, he will finish. Trust and believe. Yes. You ready now? You ready to get down? You ready to get down? Honey, I can't wait till you get your hair cut, honey, because you looking straggling. Looking like a straggling mess. Hey, y'all. I got a seed in the ground. Yes. I just been cleaning up. Look, I just been cleaning up around here. Picking up, washing clothes and things. You know, I got to get in where I fit in. I ain't get a chance to do it this past weekend. But we catching up on some things. Yes. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, your favorite cousin. All right. <laughs> thank you. I hope all is well. Thank you. Thank you. Praise God. Praise God. I hope all of you are well. It is another day, another blessing, another great opportunity for us to give him praise. Why? Because he is worthy. Y'all catching it. I know you're catching it. I am great, Ashley. Thank you for asking. I hope you are. I hope all is well with you and your families. If it ain't, it is. Speak life over yourself. Love on your families. There's never too much love. There's no such thing. Honey, I'm talking about get on your nerves kind of love. Listen, I love you too. 
God morning. Is it morning where you are? Well, God morning to you. It's afternoon over here. We're Eastern Standard Time. Where are you located? Talk, drop where you're located. I am doing great. I'm great because my dad is great. Whatever my situation is, I ain't going to focus there. I'm just going to focus on the goodness of Jesus because he's good. And because he's good, I'm good because that's my daddy. And because my daddy is good, <laughs> you get it, right? <laughs> I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to let God handle the rest. You know, we're blessed by the best. I'm going to pray about the rest. And God is going to handle that. Uh, oh, Arkansas. Okay. Okay. Texas. Come on. Hey, South Cackalacky. How are you? God afternoon, Pecan Tan. That's it. Oh, Tanya. Tanya. Yes. Columbia, South Carolina. All right. New York. Listen. I enjoy coming on here, checking in with y'all. I am just sitting here and, and setting my atmosphere, worshiping. And I thank God. I was just like back him in the rug over there. I said, Lord, Lord, I thank you. Whatever you're doing, God, I just want it to be pleasing in your sight. I want it to be a sweet sound in your ear. I just want everything that I do to be for you. God, you get the glory. Yes. God gets the glory. It ain't about me. I just want to be the best. Too long, I mean, too long, and God, listen, let me tell you, I can be myself in him. I'm growing. I'm growing because I'm learning in our relationship, not by religion. It's about relationship. Yeah. You know, religion is man-made. See, relationship. That's the difference. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. <laughs> I hope all is well. Sicklerville, New Jersey. All right. God afternoon, Columbus, Ohio. Relationship. That's right, Monday. Monday, Monique. Hey, Melanie. I hope all is well with you. I hope all is well with everybody. If it ain't, it is. Speak life over yourself. Me looking like a little blood. <laughs> it's like somebody librarian with my glasses on. But I love them. I need to see. I need to hear. I take them off to hear. <laughs> Y'all know how I be doing. And let me take my glasses off so I can hear. So y'all can hear. Thank you so much. Okay, God. Yes. Be more in the house. Hey, Lady JP. Thank you. I, you know, we, we, we going through. Come on, Corey. <laughs> Praise the Lord, Brother Corey. Yes. Honey, listen, we're going to make the appointment. <laughs> this is, somebody better say it. This is my season for grace for favor. Look at how far God has brought you. Your grace and mercy. Come on, Greensboro, North Carolina. My hometown, Green County, Georgia, on here. Come on. Yes. Listen. Hold on one second. Yeah, yeah. When these songs, when I've been, I've been in the living room and been in the kitchen and been up, whatever, cleaning up every song that has set my, that has been playing in the atmosphere has been a praise moment. I had to stop right where I was. I'm telling you, I was vacuuming, cleaning off a little table over there. And I said, God, I thank you. And I just, I, and I text my husband just randomly. I, I and I, I prefaced it with this random note. I said, random, random. This is random. Just so he knows it's random. I'm just sitting here in the living room, praising and thanking God for my family. I'm thanking God for where we are now, where we're going. I'm asking God to strengthen us where we can build us up, where we're torn down. Because there's so much going on in the world. So many people leave their homes and don't come back. But God, I thank you for right now. I thank you for right now. I thank you for my now. So, yeah, whenever you're thinking about your family members, whenever you're thinking about whoever, just text them. Or, or if they're not right where, where you can reach them, talk to them, text them, you know. Oh, my Lord. So thank you, God, for this atmosphere. Thank you. You are welcome here, Holy Spirit, and I thank you. 
I thank you. Saturate us with your presence, God. Saturate us with your love, God. We need so much more of that, God. None of us, all of you, God. Thank you for everything that you have done, God. We got to clean. Listen, that song hit my spirit too when I was cleaning up. We got to clean up what we messed up. I thank God. He takes our brokenness. He takes our junk and makes it brand new. Listen, let me tell you, it don't matter what you've done. Long as you come to him, huh? your life will never be the same. Oh my God. Thank you, God, for right now. May not be where you want to be, but God, I thank you that I'm not where I used to be, God. I'm not where I used to be. So God, I'm going to thank you right here, right now. God is so good, y'all. I know y'all see me act the see. I'm just going to be me, you know? Some people say that they can't take me serious when I do my other videos. I, I'm not worried about that. That's our problem now. We're worried too much about people. I love God. And God loves me just as I am. So no matter what I'm doing, no matter how I do it, even in my silliness, God is going to get the glory. Even in my other, whatever I'm doing, I want God to get the glory. I want God to be happy with me. I want my praise to be a sweet sound. I want the way I live to be pleasing in his sight. So I thank God for who I am. Too many people told me I'm too loud. Too many people told me I, I, I laugh too much. Can you believe it? People have a problem with joy. But I can't worry about people, y'all. I can't worry about people. We're not living for people over here at the French house. We're living for God. For God I live and for God I die. I love myself. I love myself. And I'm learning to love myself and be more patient with myself each and every day. And I thank God. For being able to share that with somebody else. Because you never know what somebody is going through. You never know what somebody is going through. You never know. And I thank you for these paper towels I'm about to get to. Because I ain't even. Listen. Listen. <laughs> ah. Woo, we thank you God. Thank you God. Thank you God. Thank you God. For all that you've done. Thank you for just who you are, God. Because if you never do anything else, you've done more than enough. You've done more than enough. So I thank you, God, for who I am. And I and I and I'm glad that I say it that because it kind of um we I have a wedding Friday. We we have a wedding to attend Friday. And so, of course, I'm one of them. I waited to the last minute to find something for my girls to wear. Because, you know, we, we for the most part, we're pretty casual. And I'll get dressy when I need to get dressy. But um, the girls, you know, for but when COVID started, um, you know, we were home. We were virtual school, right? And we didn't have to buy new clothes for shoes because you know we were home they could just put on something that was presentable and go to you know the zoom so uh two years was it 2020 two years yeah and i had to go i said well you know what y'all to think about it y'all ain't really got no sunday best if you will you know they ain't really got dressy stuff they just dress uh, dress up enough and they're presentable before the before god because you know we always do a praise chick before we leave the house listen and um so last night i said okay we got this wedding to go to we gotta we gotta dedicate some time to go and find you to uh maybe a nice dress or something dressy to wear and they found we found dresses praise the lord and Jada, my oldest, she 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 still can wear a lot of shoes. She wears a size maybe eight, eight and a half in women's shoes. My 11-year-old, my baby, she wears a size 11. And I want to share something with you all too. Children 
And I was there when I was in school. Now, I was self-conscious about a lot of things. But her body is well proportioned. It, it doesn't look like she's a little 11-year-old with a size 11 foot. It's well proportioned. She's well proportioned. And if she wasn't, I'd still be happy. You know what I mean? But listen, let me tell you what she said. Because I, Jada still has enough shoes that she has a lot of little dress shoes that she can still wear. Okay. So I knew that, okay, during COVID, Jasmine had a growth spurt, the baby, my youngest, the one that's in, in the kitchen with me, taste testing everything. She had a growth spurt. She went up two shoe sizes during COVID, right? And uh, so we've been in 11 for a while, but we stopped before COVID. It was, they were right there together wearing a size eight. I can, I can, uh, I get, they have a pair of Timberlands that they're the same size and Jasmine cannot wear her Timberlands the next year. It was actually a few months. She couldn't wear her Timberlands, but so Jada is going to use that. She wears both of them or whatever. And, uh, Ooh, Jesus. Last night we were coming out of shoe car. I said, I got to find you some dress, she dress shoes, Jasmine, because we don't have any dress shoes uh for your size right now we gotta buy some dress shoes you gotta you know we'll find a nice boot or something to go with your dress so we went to Kohl's and uh couldn't find anything that would go with the dress like like I would want it to and then we went to where did we go uh shoe carnival uh didn't find anything there that would really go with the dress because there's some velvet in the dress and all of that then we went to rack room didn't find anything there and uh, <clears throat> finally made it over to shoe department. Went to shoe department. And, and it took us a minute, but we found something, right? So I want to back up a little bit. Shoe department is where we found it. We, we went to three stores before we could get to where we, you know, found some shoes. So we were coming out of rack room shoes. And the attendant that was there serving us, she said, you know, believe it or not, size 11 is our most popular size. So everywhere we looked, they didn't have a size 11. And then when we got to that store, the store prior to the one where we found shoes, she told us that they didn't have um, any uh, uh, anything in size 11. So we saw some nice shoes, just not her size. So we went over to shoe department. Praise the Lord. Uh, but when we were leaving, as I said, is there a surgery that we can have to make my feet smaller? And you, you know what tore me up. And of course it tear me up more that she's not here and I'm telling this story, but we stopped both of us, me and Jada, both, both of us immediately started encouraging her. I want you to realize that you are beautiful. You, you're, you, the way you're, you're, you, you wear a size 11, but it don't look like you wear a size 11. There is not, and I said, no, we are not going to do that. What we're going to do is rebuke that right here, right now in the name of Jesus. Yes. And I want you to know that you are beautiful. But I was there as a child. I used to think my toes were ugly long and I was just self-conscious about a lot of things. And bless her heart, when we were trying on shoes, she was like, Mama, can we just try a 10 to see if it works? You know? So each and every chance that I get, especially since she said that I want her to know that she is beautiful and I want her to realize and know that self-love is the best kind of love. I want you to love every part of you. I used to get teased when I was in high school, middle school. I used to be teased about my forehead, but we, we all go through things like that, where we are becoming more aware of our body parts. You know, our bodies are changing and I tell her that all the time, but I want her to know that she is beautiful. I don't care if she's, if her, if her, her shoe size grows even more because she's only 11 y'all. And I thank God for her sister, her oldest sister. Before I could say anything, she was like, Jazz, no, don't say that. Don't say that. I love my children, y'all. And, you know, even though we go through things and I'm really in mama mode, oh, Jesus, I love my children. And it's moments like that where I see where God, where the things that mommy and daddy that we are instilling in our children, it's moments like that where I see the work, where I see the fruit. So, 
You know, we were laughing a few moments after that, but I just wanted to share that with you because I just want everything that I do to be pleasing in God. I want us, I want us to love ourselves because you know, the saying God is better to me than we are to ourselves. That's true. That's true. It's not just a cliche. Do you hear me what I say? He loves us more than we could even love ourselves. It's, and you know, kids go through too. And that's why I never, I try my best to not push away when my children are trying to share something with me. I want to hear their hearts. I want to hear whatever they have to say in that moment. Because sometimes this day and age, you don't get children to talk to you, right? You don't get children to talk to you. So I praise God for that moment that we had together. We were talking, we were encouraging her until we got the shoe department. And it was from, I think, uh, Conyers on down to Covington. It was a few minutes. So we had some time. We had some time to love on that baby. And every chance that I get, I love on my children. I love on my children. I try to get them to communicate. And I, and I ask God to give me ways to give me ways to get on their level and give me something, you know, how to talk to them, when to talk to them and the things to say, because I don't want to ever push them away when they come to me with something that's concerning them and their issues that are flowing from their heart. And me as a mother, I always want to be there to encourage because I was there too. I always give them an, an example. The things that I see through my girls now, nothing so far in this life and me raising them has been a surprise to me. The only difference the only difference is the technology. The only difference is the technology. So everything that we've had to battle together, I've been through it or their dad has been through it. And I'm so grateful that our communication levels are growing. I told y'all, I told y'all several times, I got a therapist because none of us has a, and none of us have a manual. None of us go through, none of us go through this life knowing and, and reading a manual on how you get through this. Listen, listen. So I'm grateful for moments that we have like last night, like last night. I'm so grateful. Oh, I, I, I guess I had to get that out. Listen, I, 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 I'm learning to love myself more and more each day and me showing them that I love me and all of me and nothing will change about me. I'm just growing in God. <laughs> I'm just growing in God. So whatever that I do, God, Right here, right now, I want it to be pleasing in your sight. I want my praise to be a sweet sound in your ear. God, I thank you. Oh, Jesus. Listen, I love all, I love all of y'all. I thank you so much for your love, your support. I'm learning more and more about these uh live portions uh, or whatever the, the thing about this app i'm trying i'm trying and i thank you for the flowers the roses the lights the shares whatever share it with somebody because listen it might help somebody it helped me it helped me listen if it wasn't for nobody it was for me it was for me <laughs> it was for me and i praise god for all the moments that we have, because it, 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 I feel like a lot of moments, some things that we may not understand, we, 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 we will understand it better by and by. Sometimes we may not get it right then and there, but we'll understand it better by and by. Listen, God is so good, y'all. Listen, I surrender all to you, everything I give. To you, withholding nothing, y'all know it. Withholding nothing, I surrender all to you. Everything I give to you, withholding nothing. Withholding nothing, I give you all of me. <laughs> I give you all of me. I give you all of me. I give you all of me. My 
God. My God. Listen, surrender all. I'm telling you. I, 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 just like I'm talking to y'all now. This is how I be talking to God. For real. This is how I be talking to God. I'm like, listen, floss in my teeth. And a big old chunk of something come out. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> that thing, it hurt. So thank you, Lord, for, 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 for helping me floss my teeth. <laughs> listen. He's good. I'm, that's, that's it. <clears throat> I'm talking about the little thing. <laughs> it don't take much for me. I'm thanking God for every everything. Listen, what's the song? What the song? The hymn said, "What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege it is to carry everything. I didn't say some. Everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pains we bear. All because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. Carry everything to God in prayer. You get it? Listen to the lyrics of the song. So it, it might have just been lyrics to somebody, but by and by, when you go through a few things, life is filled with swift transitions. God have mercy. Take everything. To God in prayer. I'm always praying, y'all. Never stop praying. Come on, Thessalonians. Pray without ceasing. I don't care for what it is. Whatever the need, God got it. Whatever you need, God's got it. You know, whatever you need, God's got it. Whatever you need. God's got it, God's got it, and he's waiting to give it to you. Whatever you need, take it to the Lord in prayer. Stop looking for your answers in people. Stop searching here, there, and everywhere, and go to God. Listen. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I love these spontaneous praises. I just love it. God, thank you for, for last night because it, it, it helped me tremendously. And I'm so grateful that she, she didn't withhold that, what, what she felt like she needed to say at that time, just so that we could pour into her. My children are beautiful. And I don't care if I'm the only one that think that, you know, I'm a mama. Listen, that's one piece. I love children. And I love our elders. Those are the two type people that are in my heart. Like, I love us in between. Listen, <laughs> we still hang, we hanging on. But it's something about children that will, they, they have no filter. They will tell you the truth. If they can formulate words, they will tell you the truth. And you know our elders, they don't bite their tongue for nobody. My grandma was one of them. If you didn't like it, oh well. She said what she said and she meant every word. <laughs> And I and, and I my heart goes to when I see elderly people out on their own and you know I'm always I'm watching and watching and, and, and seeing if there's a moment or opportunity that I am able to help them in some form or fashion. However, within within reason, I want to help them. But you know, because technology is is like it is, it's hard to walk up on people nowadays, you know. People think it crazy. Just for somebody just wanting to communicate and, and, and say, hey, and when they ask how you doing, you really go into how you doing and not just a formality. It's not just a greeting. Huh? That's the life I love to live. Don't let this technology get in between being personable with people. Listen, God talking today. I'm, I'm receiving all of this. Listen, thank you, God. Thank you, God. Who? Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Hi, listen, let me get back on here. <laughs> I, I, I just thank God for his, his presence. I thank God for his teaching. I thank God for his spirit. I thank him. 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 But anyway, how are you all doing? I, I hope and pray that all is well. You know what I say? If it ain't, it is. Speak life over yourself. God is up to some great things. If you believe it, you can shout amen with me. Amen. He is up to some great things. May not know what it is, 
But because I follow you, Daddy, you are my shepherd. I know I have everything that I need. I have everything that I need, God. But I know that you're still working on my behalf. (laughs) I know that this too, whatever I'm going through, shall pass. I'm still going to trust you. No matter what it looks like, no matter what it feels like. Feelings are not facts. I trust and lean on your word. Your word is true and it will last. God, you're the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. You reign. You reign. Jesus. Oh, I love y'all. Listen. Oh, let, 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 listen, the, la- the lash is wet. The little lash is wet, right? Let me tell you something. These things have been a blessing to me. I'm so glad I saved my coins. Seriously, I saved my coins because when you get the, uh, in, in, in the, um, what you call them? Extensions. I'm trying to say it. When you get the lash extensions, it's, it's a pretty penny. If you go to somebody that know what they're doing and do it when they do, I did my. Let me tell you how long I did my research for about six, seven months before I got these things. I did my research. I ain't playing. Listen, okay. So I pull out. I pull on my natural eyelashes, right? I, it's called uh, trichotillomania. You can look it up. I ain't gonna. It's trichotillomania. If you start typing it in Google, it'll find. It'll finish the rest for you as far as the spelling. Trichotillomania. It's where people. Some people they'll find a patch of hair in their head and they just pick at it, pull it. Some people pull out their brows. Some people pull. Uh, constantly pick at their lips. Some people. It's like an OCD kind of thing. And. Uh, mine was at my eyelashes when I'm in deep thought or when I am stressed. Truth be told, I start going for my eyelashes. Let me tell you, Jada has gotten to a point where she will catch me when I'm doing it and make me more conscious of the fact that I, I need to stop. 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 What are you doing? So so she's helped me there. And getting these lashes, I have not touched my eyes. And I've had them now for three weeks. I be touching my eyes some like every day. Seriously, y'all. It was that bad. So having something on my eyes has helped me. Uh, And and just like when I was a little girl, I used to pick at my lips. So it was my lips. But I always try to have lip gloss or lip balm around. As long as I got something on my lips, I don't pick at my lips. So God makes ways, you know. So these, I I get my fill in tomorrow is what I was getting at. I don't do nails. I, I get my, I get a pedicure every now and then. And, and, and these lashes have been a blessing. They wet now. You see how they, they got wet. But I get my fill in tomorrow. Praise the Lord. We thank you. I, I'm excited about it because it has really, truly blessed me and helped me in that area. So, yeah, your middle. Oh, your middle daughter's name is Jada. And my and I, and uh, my Jada is, is J-A-Y-D-A. I've seen J-A-I-D-A. I've seen J-A-D-A. There's beautiful ways to spell it. I love it. Thank you so much. Thank y'all so much. I, I'm missing some of the comments. Cause listen. Oh, yes. Come on. <sighs> it's like, come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus just now. Just now. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Just now, all you have to do is believe in your heart that he is your Lord and Savior. Hmm? And God raised him from the dead. Come on. He will accept you. He's standing there with arms wide open. You have the choice. You have the choice. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) But I hope and, and pray that you have been having a great God day. I always say that every day is a gift from God. So it's a God day. That's why I say it all the time. Today is a God day. Today will be a God day. It's already a God day. Yeah. <laughs> I think we all are in some, in some fashion. We're all ministers. I am. I, I did have a first sermon. I did have a trial sermon. I am. Um, I do speak. I'm not ordained. I am just a, um, a minister, licensed minister. And I, I praise God. Um. So we we we're in we're moving in because there are evangelists. There are 
you know, pastors, uh, there are bishops, there are, you know, but we're, we're psalmists. We're psalmists and I praise God for even through music, God will get the glory. Even through music, you, you, you're ministering to a soul and I praise God. So even through music, the right kind of music, <laughs> God gets the glory. God gets the glory. It's not about me. And I just praise God for being the vessel. So whatever direction God leads in, I follow. Yeah. Thank y'all so much. <laughs> thank God so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love all y'all. Thank you. Is it Cosmo Coach 12? Thank you. <laughs> praise God. But listen, that I had to come on and share that. And I, I think I'm going to, I'm going to, I know these videos save. I got to go and grab it. But I thank God for that moment that was a great moment last night for us to be able to love on her and, and instantly rebuke that that feeling that she had i just wanted to encourage her and boy when she found the shoes let, let's let's tell you what she did <laughs> when we found the shoes you know i told you we had we were just you know going to going to different stores and not finding what we needed right but when we found the shoe and see, I, and somebody said something about Torrid. See, Torrid has, they have a wide shoe. She has a long, little narrow foot. It's long. Um, but when we got to the store where we found the shoe, she got some nice little 11-year-old uh, uh, wedges. You know, they, they are 11-year-old appropriate wedges. And honey, she tried on the shoe, zipped it up, and started walking. You know how you're in the store, you, you try on the shoe. <laughs> She got up. I said, okay, Jazz, let's, let, let, let's go now. Let's go. She kept her walking. That's, I left her alone. I left her alone. I left her alone. Let her walk. Let her walk. But mama tired. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, walk one more time to the end and go back that way. Come on back down the runway again. And we're going to go home. Because we, 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 we were out till it was late. You, but you know, the time change makes it seem like it's so much later than what it was. It was just like maybe almost 7 o'clock. But we praise God. Because you listen, I, I, I try to be in the bed at 8, 30, 9 o'clock. We, 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 we believe in rest over here. Listen, I take phones and everything. 9.30 is their cutoff time. Bring the phones. We turn the Wi-Fi off and we rest. And then I see you. If Listen, if, if God's will, I see you the next day. I'll post something or say something or whatever. And I'll see you the next day. Yeah, <laughs> she loves the shoes. She is going to strut her stuff at that wedding. Listen, <laughs> so... We, we went through to get to where God wanted us to be. Ain't he wonderful? Just when you're about to give up. When she made that statement before we got to the place where we needed to be to find the shoes. God made a way. Oh my God. He made a way. She was prancing around in little $25 shoes. He made a way. And I'm so happy for her. I was happy for her. I was glad to God turned that thing around. Oh, my God. We had to go through. All those stories we went to couldn't find anything. Want to give up? Is there another way? Just when you are about to throw in the towel, suddenly God will move on your behalf. So, people, don't give up. Don't give in. You still will win. My God. Thank you, Father. You still will win. The victory is already won. So I praise God for that moment I had with my baby. Oh, Jesus. God, I thank you. <laughs> the small things, right? Jesus. Not realizing how powerful that moment was until just now. God, thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So, yeah. <laughs> Who, y'all? He's right on time. Just when you want to give up. Just when my baby says, is there something we can do to make my feet smaller? We found a shoe 
and she strutted her stuff. She walked that, she walked that aisle. She didn't want to take that shoe off. And it was just one shoe. She had to try on number one. <laughs> she had a sneaker on one foot and the dress shoe on the other one. My God. Oh! <laughs> Jesus, yes, see, listen, I'm always trying to communicate. I've been asking my girls how they are since they could talk, formulate any kind of word. My Jada, my young, my oldest, she was reading before she was one. And, and I've always told them because of my upbringing, I always wanted them to be able to communicate. And if something, I don't care how uncomfortable on the sun right now. I don't care how uncomfortable you may feel. Always try your best to come to me and talk to me and dad about whatever you're going through. No matter how uncomfortable. So I'm always digging. I'm always trying to find ways. Like when we used to have bath time. I'm like, how was your day? How does this? Let me tell you. Listen. I didn't do, too, I didn't do baby talk. When they were babies, I don't. I didn't talk to them like you know. I, I, I it's cute. I, the only the only babies I talk to like that are my dogs. I'm sorry, I talk to dogs like that. But when I when you want your children to learn uh, words fast, you talk to them like you talking to a grown person. You you say the word. You say the actual words. Jada was talking before she was one. She was reading sight words before she was one, and we praise God for that. And I always told her, no matter what, try to always communicate. And, you know, we've been through some hurdles where, but it eventually comes out. My mom always tell me, God will reveal what it needs to be revealed, right? So I always will find out what I need to find out. And I thank God for showing me. We, 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 it was hard to go through it, the tough times, when it first hit. But, God, I thank you for your help. I thank you for your grace. I thank you for your mercy. And while you had me in that place, I listened for your voice to see how I needed to ha handle that situation. So, yeah, I remember, uh, I, I listen, when it comes to girls and their bodies, I, was I always talk to them. You let me know if somebody touches you inappropriately. We talk about the uncomfortable things. There is no taboo in this house. Do you hear me what I say? So, we, we, we always want them to tell us everything. So, my when I was working my 9 to 5, my husband was at work. Let me tell you, we were both at work. My mother in love would keep the girls, right? So Jada was about two. She was two at the time, and Jasmine was a little baby. Because they're two and a half, they are two and a half years apart. I have girls, so I'm doing this. And a lot of it, it stems from my childhood. We'll get into that later. Uh, the reason why I do what I do is because of some of the things that I've gone through. But there will not be taboo in my house. So we went to work. And Jada, like I said, my 13-year-old, she was two at the time. And Jasmine was a baby. Mama in love, she, she changed Jasmine's diaper, right? <laughs> she changed Jasmine's diaper. And when I got home from work, I would usually get home before my husband would get home. I got home first. And... So we would all, we would just be sitting around in the living room after I kind of, you know, you know, get, get today off of me from work. I go shower, whatever, sit in the living room, talk. She, she said to me, she said, I am, you know, I am so, she's so proud of Jada. Jada was just two at the time. Remember that she was two and listen, she, and her, my, uh, my husband's mom watched the girls. And so she told me, she said, when I was changing Jasmine's diaper, she had a piece of lint that was close to her vaginal area, okay? It was a piece of lint. <laughs> she, she said, Jada asked her when she was trying to get the lint off, the piece of lint, she said, why are you touching my, sis why are you touching my sister like that? And she, so she's very proud. She was very proud. Her, you know, we were, we were shedding tears because I was like, she's two. But she knows because she remembers what I taught them. I was talking to, I'm telling you, reading words before she was one. Since she can formulate words and have a conversation, tell me what she want. Tell me about her diaper. She going to tell me some things, right? So I've always told them, and I told Jazz when she got old enough and started reading words, you let me know if somebody touching you in a way that did something don't look right. So she was glad that she shared that with <laughs> Why are you touching my sister like that? Something don't look right to a two-year-old. So that's why I said the, the children and the elders, they have my heart. 
They're going to tell you. And another thing she said, <laughs> she said, and then when Jada heard us talking about her, she came over there and she told me, my, my, uh, my mother-in-law, we call her my mom. She didn't tell me this, but she said, she, Jada told me. Let me tell you what Jada said. She said, I said, Jada, did you have a good day today? Were you good for my mom? She said, I was good. Uh, I, I got on her nerves. I was trying to fix them, but I couldn't. <laughs> I was like, bless her heart. She said she got on her nerves a little bit. Her nerves. She said N-E-R-R-R-R-R-S. I got on her nerves. I tried to fix them, but I couldn't. <laughs> so I praise God for moments like that. But I've always, always, always talked to my child just like we're having conversation here right now. You always, always, you talk about, that was a tip for the day on my, uh, uh, I went live earlier today. Talk about the uncomfortable things. You know, tell your children the truth. They handle it better. Don't try to hide anything from your children. Tell them the truth. They can handle it. And, and, and of course, to a certain extent, what you feel that if you know that they are, uh, okay, for instance, they go to school. You know the language within your household. You know how we talk. You know the words that we say, the words we cannot say, the words we choose not to say. And then they go to school, bring something back. Who you been hanging around? How you, what, where that word come from? You know? Always, always, always talk to your children. I'm always asking questions. When I notice something different going on, listen, we talking. We talking. Right? Talk about the uncomfortable things. I cannot tell you how many times I've asked God uh, 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 to show me how to get on their level, to show me how to say certain things or what to say and when to say it. When, when we came to our first uphill battle with our teenager, I gave her the silent treatment for about a week because I knew that if I responded in my emotions, if I responded in my feelings, if I responded in my anger, it wouldn't go out. It wouldn't go well. So I had to step back. I said, okay, God, it hurt. But I, I, I did all of the things that I do as a mother, still fix their plate. But the, there was a different dynamic in the house because we are a close-knit family. We always laughing. We always loud. We always singing. We always doing something. There's some noise going on in the house all the time. So when I gave her that, it was about a week because I didn't know what to say at the time. I didn't know how to say it at the time. And I recognized that I didn't want to operate off of my emotion. And I said, God, while you have me in this place, I will listen for your voice. Teach me what to say, how to say it and when to say it. It took a week. You got to be patient with yourself. You got to learn how to be patient with yourself. Yeah. It took a week. And, and, and when the breakthrough came, oh, it was a beautiful moment. It was a beautiful moment. So, yeah, if you don't, you can't just sporadically talk about the uncomfortable things. You pray first. Joshua 1, 9. I am with you everywhere you go. Didn't I tell you? Be strong and courageous. Huh? Isaiah 41, 10. Uh, 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 I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. He will. Come on. So, God, while you have me in this place, I'm going to listen for your voice. I'm not going to operate off my feelings because what I say, feelings are not facts. So, wait a minute. Let me back back. Give myself 50 feet because I want this to go well. I want this to go right. I don't want to do it how I know, how I've always known to do it. I want to do something different so we can get a different result. Amen. Amen. We praise God. Amen. The sun is shining, and I ain't talking about that big, beautiful ball up there in the sky. <laughs> Listen, did you catch it? Did you catch it? That's today's forecast. God rains, and the sun shines. <laughs> That's on a sign, on a, on a church sign, going to, um, uh, oh, I pass it just about every day. Uh, Listen. God is good, y'all. This has been great. I have enjoyed talking with you all. I always enjoy checking in and, and, and I'm working on some things. Uh, we praise God for 
the work I'm learning, even in the work to learn to be patient with myself. Because y'all remember when I had that breakdown, I'm just like, listen, come on back. God, while you have me in this place, I'm going to listen for your voice. You will get the glory. This is not about me. When I get too wrapped up, tied up, and tangled in myself, God, listen. Remove even me because there can be an enemy in me. Come on, somebody. Huh? Yeah. Yes. You take that and run with it. Feelings are not facts. And I'm so grateful that I'm learning each and every day. Now, sometimes we have our list and I have to go and ask God, listen, forgive me because I have my moments. But I always want to make sure I operate in love. Even if it hurts, you know, the truth hurts. But guess what? The truth heals. The truth hurts, but it heals. So talk about the uncomfortable things. Ask God to lead you in the way that you should go when it comes to that for your life. Um, I can even attest to the when I was at I had to sing at a wedding about about a week ago. And I had to share I shared with my husband. My mom wants to sit down and talk with us and make sure we know where things are if anything were to happen. And I want to elect you know piggyback off of that we need to get more in depth with that as you could talk about it, i knew i used to couldn't even say the word death it's a part of life it's gonna happen how i don't know no man knows the day nor the hour but we always want to have things in place to make sure that things can go smoothly and, and that it's not a burden so listen talk about the uncomfortable things my god <laughs> God is so good. I thank you. I thank him. I thank him. Oh, thank you. I love it too. Worship while you wait. Yes, I love it. Miss Gladys Walker. I um I uh I praise God for this gift. It was a gift. It's one of the things that I do on my platform. If people send me and I put my post office box in my bio. So if people send anything that they want me to, you know, because, you know, Jesus is my name brand. I don't do all that other stuff. I'm telling you strictly Jesus over here. <laughs> and I praise God for gifts. I praise God for blessings. But I always share. Y'all know how I start off. If you are familiar with um, some of the videos that I do, I'll start off with. I got a package in the mail today. <laughs> and I share whatever you would like me to share if you have a card, I shout out your business or I shout out. I just try my best to, to use my platform in a positive way because even if I feel like I don't get the help I want or I feel like I don't get the help I deserve, you know, I don't even want to think like that. I want to help somebody. I always want to help somebody. There's so much love and, 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 and stuff out here for all of us. It's not you get yours. I got mine so you get yours. No. I always, if it's within my if it's within my reach, I want to help somebody. So that's how we use our platform. And, and, and if you want to send anything, if you want me to look into something, if you want me to give you a review, I will be honest. I will be honest. If you want to send anything, that's what that is there for. So that's one of the, this is one of the gifts that I received from one of the package openings uh, about a, a few weeks ago. And I've, and, and People have asked about it, so I was able to share her website on where you can purchase it. And it's unisex. It's men and women. So, yes, I, I definitely love, love, love to share that. I love to share. I love to share the love of others and, and, and the gift that others have. Listen, here, Instagram, wherever I'm on. I'm here, Instagram, Facebook, and, and YouTube. So I share them there so that even every audience there's there's some people that follow on all platforms, but we're all family members. Right. And so I shared on all platforms so everybody can see it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Praise God. I thank you all so much for your love and your support. Thank you. Thank you. Praise God. Oh, Gemini. Nay. Praise God. <laughs> yeah. Yes. 
Oh, you know what? Let me. Matter of fact, let me go get it because I don't want to. I don't want to tell y'all wrong. So let me go log in right here. Hold on. I'll tell you this shirt. I'll tell you the website. I sure will. Praise while you wait. Hold on. Listen, I gotta get my. Let me open it up. Let me see. Wait, yeah. Hold on. Hold on. I'm finna. I'm finna. I'm, I gotta. I gotta pull my um, email up, and I didn't want the. The, the the lie to to be thwarted. Hold on. I'm going to get it. I sure will. But I... um. That's what I love to do. That's what my P.O. box is for. Oh, come on. Slow down. If I slow down, I can get something done. If I slow down... <clears throat> No wonder. Caps lock was on and I don't need to add it on when I'm trying to put this password in. Okay, here we go. Let me see. Oh. Not now. All right. Sister Gladys, Gladys. Okay, here we go. Okay. Hope Wears, H-O-P-E-W-E-A-R-S dot biz is where you can go. I'm from Greene County, Georgia. Hope wait. Let me. I can type it in. I think Hope wears. Hope wears. Dot biz. She's trying to get. She she's trying to get um. And in her her son is trying to help her with starting up an Instagram account because I think she's only on Facebook. But that's where you can go, hopewares.biz. And she had her card in there and everything. It was beautiful. It was just beautiful. And, um, but you know, I love to wear Jesus. I love to represent Jesus. I love to represent Christian apparel. Amen. Oh. Praise God, Serenity. 1800, hopewares.biz. I, can I pin it? Is it? How do I pin it? That's what I tried to. I can't. How do I pin it? It won't let me pin it. Let me see. I don't think it let me pin it, Dimples. You from Cobb County? Yes, Green County. Hopewares.biz. I guess if we got to keep typing it in, y'all. I'm sorry. Because, listen, if it's a way to pin it, I don't see the way. 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 Thank you, Nor thank you, New York. Thank you, Sister Deborah. Praise God. Listen, wasn't it wasn't ain't it good? Wasn't it? Listen, did that bless you today like it blessed me? That was so good, wasn't it? Wasn't it? If it wasn't for you, it was for me. Shoot. <laughs> but it's hopewares.biz. Oh, you can only pin on Instagram, I believe. I think. Okay, see, I'm learning every day. So I want you all to be encouraged. No matter what, I'm gonna get ready to wrap it up here because I wanna, I gotta, uh, I gotta uh, get some things ready for my babies when they get ready to get home because I gotta do a little work tonight, and so they're gonna be off doing their thing, and we gotta get them set up right before anybody. You know, we gotta get the family set up right, right? Um, I will try my best to check in a lot more often than I have been now that I've kind of kind of got a 
you know, with me working on my music, I kind of got a system going. I, it's, 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 it's possible that I can come on live and check in. And I can check in. TikTok been messing up lately with people being able to pin. Thank you, Tweety Bird. Because, honey. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. I ain't mean to do that. Why did I do that? It said I muted somebody. See, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. I don't yeah, yes, I always Lee. I am writing my own music. That's why it's taking it it's taking time cuz I'm following God. It's not happening, you know, I'm I'm trying not to get beside myself because I can and I want God to always get the glory, but I am taking a, a taking a and it's not easy. I am writing my own stuff. Yes. Hey 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 internet. Hey hey darling. I so I'm writing. Praise God. Yes. So I'm gonna go I'm gonna close right here because I gotta go get some things situated before I go pick up the girls. This will be time to pick them up in a minute. I love each and every one of you and I always pray and hope that the peace of God rests, rules, and abides with us while we are apart from one another. Amen. 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 <laughs> I love y'all. <laughs>